I'm down in the bathroom that is between the two boys' bedrooms, and we've got a uh, hand towel uh, loop on the wall that the hand towel hangs on, and it's it's loose. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it off the wall and find out uh, is it just the uh, Allen screw that needs to be tightened up, or is it physically loose behind there where I need to re-anchor it. So let's go ahead and get it off the wall and see what it looks like. There's a little Allen key underneath or an Allen screw that we can loosen up and that'll let that come off the wall. It looks like the bracket where it mounts to the wall is loose. Let's see if we can tighten it down and if, it's, if it'll hold. If not, well, it's pretty, it's pretty well shot. You can see how I can't get it to tighten. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and remove this and we're going to find an alternate way to attach it to the wall. looks like when it was installed, uh, they just installed it directly into the drywall. There were no anchors placed in the drywall. So what I'm going to do is go out to the shop, get a couple of anchors that will mate up with these screws, and we'll be back to install those and get this reattached to the wall. I found a couple of anchors out in the garage that should work quite nicely. They will require me to enlarge these holes a tiny bit, but that's not a problem. Let me show you a little trick that I learned a while back. If you take a post-it note and you put it right below where you're going to drill into a wall, crease it so it forms a little ledge, that should catch a good amount of the dust from the drill bit. Well, I see why they didn't anchor that. We are right next to a post or a stud, I guess. Let's go ahead and make sure those fit. Oh yeah, beautiful. Now we'll just take this right off the wall. very carefully because I don't want to splatter it everywhere and you can see that we caught pretty much all the dust. I'm going to drop that straight down into the trash can. There we go. Let's get our other anchor inserted in the wall. Pretty tight fit there. There we go. Uh, because I was right next to the stud they went at a tiny bit of an angle because the stud is to the left of the holes but that should not be a problem. They, I have a really tight fit and I should be able to uh, install this without any issue. I want to take special care. I don't know if you can read that, but it does say up and there's an up arrow. So that is the top and we'll get that started. I could do this by, I could use my drill to start these, but my concern is if I am using the drill and I don't stop soon enough, I actually could turn the, the torque of the drill could turn the anchor in the wall, basically enlarging the hole, and I just end up with the same problem I started with. Whoa, and there you go. That was what I was worried about. Let me pull that top one out. The bottom one, when I hit the stud, the drill jumped to the right, and when it jumped to the right a little bit, the hole on the bottom became a tiny bit larger than it needed to be. And my anchor is actually loose. So we're gonna have to go to plan B. And plan B will require, there we go, a little bit larger anchor. And I've got them out there. And if I don't have an anchor that's large enough for this, top one's fine, it's nice and tight. But if I don't have one that's large enough, I'll go to a toggle bolt, but one way or another, we're gonna get this secured to the wall. I went back out in the shop and I found this anchor. And what you do is you press it like this, force it into the wall, it will snap back, the screw will go through the anchor, it'll catch on the end, and it'll draw it up, flattening it out like this, and it'll give you a nice tight grip on the wall. Problem is that hole is not quite large enough to let these two little ears go through. So I'm gonna have to kind of work with that a little bit. I did not bring another drill bit, but drywall is extremely soft. So I'm just going to hit it with the screwdriver and see if I can't work this in. 
There we go. There we go. Now nah, she's in there. All right, let's put this back on. Get it right side up. We'll start the top screw. And let's get the bottom screw started. I'm sorry that my hands are in the way, but the screw is threading in just fine. Once we catch the back of the anchor, <clears throat> it will go ahead and expand and tighten down and we should have a great fit. I'm, not fe I'm feeling resistance right now, which is good. I'm not feeling any looseness, so it's not spinning in the wall. Okay, good. And we'll snug this up. There's one. There's two. Well, it's a tiny bit crooked. Let me loosen it up. And I believe it's crooked because hitting the stud, but I do have the option to adjust it just a little bit. The holes are a little larger than they need to be. That looks pretty good. Let's go ahead now and you can see that on the bottom of this towel holder, there's a little set screw and it uses uh, an Allen wrench to tighten it. I'm just gonna put it on here. I'm gonna make sure that the top and bottom are over the set screw and they are. And now we're gonna tighten it down. Hard to do right up against the wall, so you just got to take your time, snug it up. Yeah, it's hard to find the. There we go. Now we're getting her. All right nice and tight very snug go ahead and hang the towel back up let me get it folded properly and now she looks great that was an example of an easy job that became a tiny bit of a pain <laughs> it never fails sometimes when you're doing repairs around the house things don't always go as planned so you just got to kind of roll with it I'm lucky in that um, my shop is like a miniature hardware store. I have uh, tons and tons of, of anchors and screws and bolts and just all types of things to be able to do repairs around the house because I've done repairs for so many years. And what you find is you buy a little box or a little baggie of, of uh, anchors and, and you need two, three, and there's 30 in there. So I got those little plastic drawers and I just keep them in the garage for when I need them. And I'm constantly going out there, picking through the, uh, the drawers, finding little, little parts and pieces that I need. And I'm able to do repairs like this. Even when something goes wrong, uh, it's not a trip back to the hardware store. I'm, I'm lucky in that I can go right out to the shop and generally find what I need. So if you live close and you need a screw, an anchor, a bolt, give me a call, man. I can probably help you out. Hey, thanks for hanging out with me for this project. I really appreciate it. Take care and have a great evening.